welcome back to week two. It's Tuesday today, had a rest day yesterday, and plan on doing the interval session today. So, thank you. Today's the only real day. Sounds stupid, but it's the only day I've got to get it done because I'm in the office tomorrow and I'm cycling. So I won't be back till like 20 to seven. And after a day of cycle commuting, I won't fancy going out for a session. So ankles a bit, not sore, just feels a bit delicate today. My right one, which is opposite to the one that's been giving me some jip, completely out of nowhere. It just feels like if I was to do a single leg calf raise on that side, it would be quite shaky. So I was debating whether to just have another rest today, but that just means I won't really get any mileage done until Thursday and it's not serious enough to rest it completely. So we'll see how it goes. Last bit of daylight. It's really cold today. So I've got that and a couple of layers on. I've just picked up Madam from nursery. So it's about half past five. So I'll just do a couple of K with her and then drop her off. A little bit of a break before I can get out and do my warm and stuff and start again, but just like to get some easy miles in on school pickup or nursery pickup. See if she is there. So, <clears throat> I think I mentioned to those who have been watching for a while, but I've got this out and about second hand on Facebook Marketplace. It's got like an out and about buy, sell, and chat group. Uh, 100 quid. Happy days. So, got some use out of it already, to be fair. And I've been debating whether we should have got the bigger wheels. Like the sport. But, it seems to do the job, so just keep using that. Weirdly, now I'm moving and moving quicker than walking. Or, yeah, walking. It feels loads better. I don't know what it is. I walked the dog this morning, it just felt a bit tender. Fingers crossed, we'll get through the session. I've been guilty of being a bit nervous on the old camera. I even know I'm quite comfortable with it if no one's in the immediate vicinity. But I am a bit, just get a bit shy when people are around. So I tend to like stop and start at it as I'm finding gaps of no one around. I just need to get over that, I think, because I don't know what it is. I think it's, I get a bit flustered with what I'm saying and whether I'm being judged for what I'm saying. So that's the reason I'm just, I've just got it out. I'm just gonna grizz it, get comfortable doing it and then onwards and upwards. So the session today is, I'll confirm, if not, I'll just have to record this bit again. But it's six by three minutes at 5K pace, I'm pretty sure. Does well to ease you in gently with, and it's a two minute walk in between as well. So hopefully nice little confidence booster. Right, here we go. Not sure what the lighting's like, but now it's time for six times three minutes. So ideal, nice flat path, about a mile long, I think. So this is where I come to do most of the sessions. Um, depends on the time of day it is, because it gets really busy. Expectedly so, because it's a lovely path and good for kids and families and stuff like that, and dog walkers. Anyway, it's, it's dark, it's cold. It's gonna be clear. So six times three minutes. Quite excited about this. 
Um, it's going to be a good indicator of where I'm at and if there's been any sort of drop in level over the last couple of weeks, which I probably hasn't. I'm probably just overthinking it. There we go, all done. Chuffed to that. It was hard work. I'm swear, I swear I said earlier, ease me in with six times three minutes. There's no easing in about that. So, scores on the doors, I'll put them up on the little, on the screen here. 343, 343, 342, 344, 342, 346. Mega chuffed to that. Um, the way I set the work up, up on the watch, I did it some time ago, and I made an error with doing the warm up being a lap press, and then the five, the 15 minutes easy being another lap press before I got into the session. Anyway, basically, I had a bit of a false start, so I did another extra half or three quarters of a rep before. So, oh, shocking. I had to, so I started looking at the watch. It wasn't saying the right activity or rep on the watch. I had to stop and then just restart and do it again. Anyway, all good. All under the target pace. I had to really work hard for it, but so chuffed, so chuffed. Um, it's not going to be easy getting under 19. That's what I've learned from that session. It's, it's bloody good going um, around the sort of 345 per K pace mark. So just going to have to give my best shot week on week and then um, see where I'm at because it, it worked out well on the last plan and that was the same approach, approach I took to that. So all good. And Izzy's just informed me that uh, Ariane wins cut a tooth, bless her. I can't believe we didn't notice. And she started crawling last night as well. So, um, phew, all changing here. Well, the ankle held up, just felt a bit, little bit fragile, but I'm just gonna get in the, get in the ice bin now. I'll do it in video, what it looks like. And um, do 10 minutes in there. Hopefully reduce some inflammation and get some good food down us. So everything went well today, did all the right things. Oats in the morning, hydration tablets first thing. Then I had in excess of like two and a half litres of water throughout the day. I had a big pasta meatball thing. I put a bit of a picture of what that was at lunch. I had a bagel at like three o'clock. Um, so couldn't have done much more on that front. So I just need to keep that up. So that's a wrap for Tuesday and I'll see you in a bit. Just about to head out. The plan says 7K easy, 3K tempo, 3K easy. So 13K long run. Well, that plan quickly changed. So I was needed to help Izzy out with getting Ariane went down. Took a long time. So the plan is now 3K with Molly. 3K with Bryn, hopefully getting a bit of a tempo effort after dropping Bryn off. Or overall though, like mega chuff with the mileage this week, considering how when I squeezed that session in Tuesday and I had a day commuting into the office and I was really struggling to get to find time to get the running done. So I'm really chuffed at how much I've achieved. A lot of that's been very Amwin in the buggy, which is an absolute godsend. But honestly, if it wasn't for having the buggy and running with very Amwin and squeezing it in, picking it up from there, Surrey and things like that, and Parkrun, or taking the dogs and running with them, I was struggling to see how I'd fit most of the running in, because the session is a bit of a selfish one, because I can't really take the dogs for that. Or I am when, but for the rest of the week, oh. but for the rest of the week, I just can't, I just couldn't imagine having the time to get out and do all those easy miles and not miss out on time with I am when, or helping out with Izzy around the house and with the family. So yeah, really grateful for that. Really, it just means I can be really efficient with how I manage the running with the family. 
Right, this is a bit quicker than I'd like. So I'm gonna put the camera away. And I'll catch up with you in a bit. Time for dog number two. Feeling really good to be fair. Did a bit of activation before I went out, so I think that does my calves and feet and Achilles the world of good. Bryn's on a bit of a weight loss journey. He's been on double dinners for some time now, unbeknownst to us. So he's on like super hungry dog food and with the baby arriving and the first six months it was very difficult to give them the long walks and the runs they need. So he's, he's on the right amount of food now, the right type of food and plenty of exercise now with running he stopped doing and he's looking really good just like a cat so maybe that's taking a few extra pounds off. So 3k with Molly, 3k with Bryn and 3k at tempo. Started the first rep of the three a bit late because I just carried on for whatever it was on for the seventh K, if you know what I mean. I've dropped and bring off, so I might have done about nine meters, but I'm quite quite confident that was under four minutes pace per K. And then the second one was 356 per K. And then the third one was 402 per K. Um, that was a bit of headwind as well, so really chuffed with that. Honestly, didn't feel like I'd get anywhere near those that pace today, considering the 6k at the front of it. But I remember putting it back to the last plan, I managed okay when it was just one block of three minute tempo in the long run. But when it started to go to like three easy, three tempo, three easy, three tempo, that's when I really struggled. But I think that's all psychological. So hoping with my confidence being a bit higher this time around, I can just have a good go at it. And like I say, if I'm struggling to achieve the target, just scale it back. But it's really important that I do the majority of that long run, volume wise. And the reason there was a time constraint on today's run was we're going out for Sunday dinner with some friends and Ariane went obviously and I, want, I don't want to don't want to sacrifice any of that indulgence shall we say so I wanted to get done before and the last couple of points first one I did it in the Invincible 2's which is extra kudos for me because it means I can do it without wearing the super shoes and also they're a bit kinder on the on the feet and ankles and because of all the foam so definitely something I'll do moving forward if it means I have to sacrifice a bit of the pace on the long runs just to be more comfortable then that's what I'll do and the second point thanks for following hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week so here we go, is the bin, do 10 minutes recovery in here after sessions and I usually do 10 minutes before bed. Mr. Duck tells me what the temperature is, so it's saying 13. So yeah, do I, so I just jump in this. Um, not sure if it helps, it must do because I've been feeling great the last couple of weeks since I've been doing it. Gives me um, the confidence I'm that I'm just doing one more thing to try and help stay like fit and strong um, and it's never a hardship it's actually quite nice at the end of the session just to cool off a bit so call me mad but I'm happy and that is the perfect time for one of my favorite quotes if it makes you happy it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else I'll leave you with that